Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial, we're going to create a cool, I keep saying cool, but what I really mean to say is a nice uh, vintage kind of faded black and white look with our images. We're going to create a new mixology uh, preset for that. So let's get started. I have an image loaded up. You guys can use whatever image. I think another great image for, or another kind of Canada of images for this look is kind of more the natural lifestyle kind of shots, uh, more candid, stuff like that. But what we're going to do is drop into our base adjustments. We're going to brighten it up a little bit. And uh, I'm kind of treating this as, you know, what I would do with a image that was correctly exposed, which is this is pretty close to correct. So if we need to make a little bit of modifications on it afterwards, no problem. We're going to flatten out the dynamic range just because, again, we want to flatten out the highlights on the skin. I'm going to do a light skin soften just because I want it to have a little bit softer of a look to it. We're going to do a light boost to contrast, uh, and then we're going to do a medium vignette. And then to turn our image into that black and white look, we're going to go down to the Antique Curves Pack. And let's apply this. Well, I'll give you guys the option. You guys can pick a color tone. I'm going to select the basic neutral wash color tone, and that gives me that nice light fade to it. Now from here, if I want to go back up and adjust like my exposure, say maybe I don't want it to be that bright, I can go and pull it down a step and leave it a little bit darker. I can also adjust, like say if I want a little bit more detail in it, if I want a light boost, I can go for light boost instead of a light uh, soften, but I kind of like that softened look for images like this. All right, guys, so let's save this out as a new Mixology uh, preset. We're going to go 06, and we're going to go, let's say, uh, faded black and white vintage. Again, you know, with these, uh, I'm assuming that a lot of you guys probably won't like certain effects, and so you might not be storing all these Mixologies into your My Mixology folder. So whatever you're storing, feel free to organize and name however you guys like. Again, make sure everything is checked, and we're going to hit Create. Now let's test this with another image. Let's pick another nice image from our, oh, we have some Canada's right next to it that actually would probably work pretty well. So we'll select this one. We'll go Faded Black and White Vintage Image. And again, we get a nice faded black and white look. Let's try it with this one. Nice little shot, Downtown Laguna. Again, nice little faded black and white vintage shot. Even this would look good with a faded black and white vintage. It would all look good, my friends. All right, guys, so from here, whatever you guys need to make, if it's properly exposed and you guys create the preset based on that proper exposure using the system, then when it comes out, it's going to look right on every single photo. And all you have to do is basically adjust the exposure. So we can try it with one more. Let's try it with a darker image like this one. And you'll see that all we need to do really with this is just adjust our exposure after we dial it in. So it comes in just a little bit on the dark side. And what I might do is just go to, let's say, a 1.5 brightening and then we get that nice look to it. So you're just going to compensate for basically the exposure. Alright guys, so that is how you create a cool, not cool, I mean nice, faded black and white vintage preset using the Lightroom 4 preset system. Alright guys, we'll see you guys with the next Mixology tutorial.